Hello, AP Lit Isla class. If you're watching this, then something happened with the Zoom and I couldn't get in. So this is just a very quick walkthrough of today's lesson, uh, which is easy to follow, but it's, it's very good. Um, we're starting the second unit, which is the poetry unit. So for the next eight or 10 days, we'll be studying poetry. Now I'm gonna start with a really exciting poet. Uh, her name is Elizabeth Acevedo. Uh, her family comes from the Dominican Republic and she grew up in the Bronx. We're not reading this today, that we're not reading this particular poem I'm about to mention today, but she even wrote a poem uh, about Cardi B being compared to Eve in the Garden of Eden because uh, the poet Elizabeth Acevedo comes from the same neighborhood as Cardi B in the Bronx and they're, they're both Dominican. Um, so we'll, we'll start with a little introduction video. Let me share so I can show you the uh, the schedule that's also written in in our in our lesson. You can see on the side of the schedule. All right, so let me click click share. Okay, minimize this junk. Okay, see the messy um, hmm, the messy desktop. Okay, here we go. Elizabeth at the rate of a lesson. Okay, lesson for um, today. You know, the first is an introduction. I'm just gonna have you listen to her and get a feel of what she sounds like. Then we're gonna read a poem called Hair. Also listen to her read this hair. She's a very dramatic reader. And we'll, we'll take some time out to discuss this poem. I, th I think many of us will like it here. Um, then we'll read another uh, poem, which is the beginning of her latest novel poem. <laughs> believe it or not, and just the first section of Clap When You Land, she'll read it for us and we'll view the video and discuss it. All right, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do what they call asynchronous time, where on your own, I'm gonna let you view, it's, this is a very good talk, um, view Elizabeth Acevedo's uh, The Summit on Inequality and Opportunity. And then there's a one uh, paragraph writing prompt Okay, so you, everybody will click on the Google Drive here, and you'll write a paragraph, put your name to it, and then, but you'll be able to see each other's paragraphs, and just a paragraph response. And the prompt is, what experiences will it take for students and teachers to realize that hair, and rats, and brown skin, and being redlined are appropriate and elegant topics for poetry? After you watch this video, you'll understand why I asked that question. And so I'll just get a paragraph response from everybody. And that's, this should probably take us to class. So that'll be our, our opening day on poetry is Elizabeth Acevedo's poetry. All right, let me unshare this business. So hopefully you won't see this video because we'll be on Zoom and I'll have talked all this to you. But it's here, just in case. Thank you.